Hello. Welcome. Hmm. I hope the music isn't too loud. Maybe we should turn it down. Or off. It was distracting. Well, happy Easter, everyone. Um, it's a religious holiday, so a lot of people who don't belong to, I guess, the Christian tradition don't celebrate it. Uh, I celebrate it because my family is Catholic or something. I'm not, but I, I go to their things anyway. It's kind of um, Jesus zombie day. But, uh, yeah, so happy, happy that. Um, I went to see my family today. I figured I'd share this with people just because I took some pictures and they're funny. Um, my family celebrates Easter in a very interesting way uh, because, well, they are, um, uh, hmm, country folk. I suppose you'd say, well, not really, um, well, just hellraisers and cowboys and stuff like that, yeah. So, we, uh, Easter, we usually have it out in this little town, which is actually growing quite rapidly right now, um, on the, it's a few miles out of Austin, called Hutto. And the family used to have this big old house there, and we still do. We sold most of the farmland around it, but, uh, this is the big house thing, it's a really awful picture of it, but it's huge, and kind of fallen down, <laughs> you can't tell, it's been in constant state of repair for the last 10 years, uh, probably longer, so we go, we go there, and then we eat, hmm, yeah, that's plates and food and a little child's arm, and my uncle Thomas, who recently got attacked by a dog. He, um, he's quite a character. He raises chickens, um, not to, you know, make them into chicken nuggets and not to harvest the eggs, but to cockfight. Yeah. Um, yeah, he has about, like, 400, 500 cockfighting chickens. Um, but he can cook pie like, like Betty fucking Crocker. It's quite surprising. Yeah. And then we shoot guns. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, this was like the first time in about 15 years that guns have been openly allowed at a family, at an Evans family gathering. Um, most uh, of the people in my family are either too old to get into a drunken fight or are sober now. So I guess it's a little bit more sa it's a little bit safer and a little bit more acceptable to have um, weapons around. But uh, yeah, look at the look on his face. That's my cousin Hudson and that's my uncle Jim. Uh, he's a fabric salesman <laughs> during the day. Yeah, but he can he can uh, Actually, I don't think any of them can really shoot that well, except for my cousin Brian, who recently got back from Iraq. Uh, yeah, he he was like a medic or something. I think he has, I, I think he has PTSD, but he can shoot pretty well. Um, he's the fabric salesman's son, and he, I think he really looks like that dude from the Beatles. Um, forgive me for forgetting the name. You know, that one, the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, this is a picture of me with an AK-47. Uh-huh. Yep, that's nice. They, yep. <laughs> and this is my lovely little cousin with some cows. Aww. Aww. I also have a few other pictures that I grabbed from this big stack that I got developed the other day the other day being a couple of hours ago, um, that I wanted to show because I like them. This is me and my friend Paige, my best friend Paige, um, skipping school last Wednesday. The school is back there. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. We skipped school to go to the mall. 
Uh, and this is a picture that I took when I was hanging out with one of my other best friends, Alyssa. This is in downtown Austin. It's a reflection of the construction stuff in a puddle. This is like a flower. I think it's really pretty. The colors are really nice. And this was the, the sto a disposable camera. It came out really cool. Um, this is from the same set of photographs uh, for my friend with my friend Alyssa. And when they developed it, I, maybe they were like high or something. Um, <laughs> but this is actually two different photographs, and they they fucked it up when they were making the print. So, yeah. But I think it gives it a really cool effect. Like, this is a close-up sort of picture of uh, this of this tree, you know, at the base of it. And this is the uh, this really cool building that I think it's like a parking garage that's going to be built or something, but it looks a lot like a castle. And this is the tree that I often feature outside of my window. Um, and it's it has spring leaves on it now. Yay! Anyway, so that was sharing time. Um, I promise there's actual, like, you know, philosophical thinky type of content coming soon. Uh, maybe in a few minutes. I don't know. Okay. Bye.